Fenella goes back to class to learn it from a master. Can you pretend, though, when you come around and look at my canvas, can you just pretend that it's really good? Sure. Pick up a catalogue of adult education courses and you'll find it simply groaning with art. How to appreciate it, how to find it, and especially how to make it. These days, it seems, everyone wants to bring out their creative spark, and our ever-intrepid Fenella Kernerbone is no exception. As she visits a masterclass held by painter Lucy Cullerton. I've never pretended that I'm able to paint or draw particularly well. Doesn't mean to say I don't enjoy it, but I thought tonight's the night to put my reputation on the line and to do a lesson. This is a beginner's lesson at this new art gallery here in Sydney in still life painting with Lucy Cullerton. Anybody at any time ask me questions, all right? So if you're stuck, the best time to solve a problem is like immediately. Possible. Lucy Carleton's built a strong reputation throughout her career, winning major awards as well as being a finalist in pretty much all of Australia's most prestigious art prizes, including the Portia Geach Memorial Art Prize, the Dobell Drawing Prize, as well as the Archibald, Wynne and Sulman. Plus her painting sell for a bomb, so we're getting a lesson from an expert, that's for sure. I've used up a paintbrush before, but I don't feel confident to be able to paint anything I want to. And so mix that for any colour and do a test. I've never done an art class, you know, not since school. But have you played around with painting no. before? Can we have to do a bit of colour mixing down here? Yep. I've got two hours to get people from, you know, down the bottom up to something really big, <laughs> take home something special. So I said, let's get beginners. Uh, it's quite a nice little setup here, I've got to say. The, the essential tools, though, if you are going to start painting, paint don't with. need much. Don't need much. Just what do you need, need? Well, you need your primary colours: <laughs> red, blue, yellow, and maybe a bit of brown and some black and white. You need somewhere to paint. Can you pretend, though, when you come around and look at my canvas, can you just pretend that it's really good? Sure. What am I going to do with myself? I've got an entire evening proving my talent. But I don't think there's much there. Who's absolute beginner here? Oh, that's great. <laughs> Excellent. OK, so the first thing you're going to do is I want you to look now at your objects that you bought and think about the canvas that you're going to paint on and do a little bit of a visualisation of that object in that square. And then th we're going to start painting. So we all got started, but for me, well, brilliance didn't emerge immediately and I had to start again. It was a bit like a chicken. So, everyone, anyone struggling? Great, great corner to corner, beautiful composition. But you've also got that beautiful, look at the shadow underneath him. Do you want that Start part? again, yes. Yes. Yeah, so start again. Grab the paper towel, dip it in your water. It's nice it's and It's a bit blue now though, that's right. Yes, yeah, alright. And you can rub him out. Nice. Yellow is beautiful with black. It just yeah. makes a beautiful greeny rather than black and white. Different black, yeah. Keep going. <laughs> I actually watched a few people around the room already and although they say they're beginners, I don't believe them. I think they've got previous skills. Why is it important to, to come along and, I mean, having never done art before, we're adults now, I mean, what, 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 what is useful about it for Oh, it's, it's fun. It's such fun. And it's, I find it kind of really frustrating in one way. I'm a writer. If I get stuck, I think, well, I'll try this, I'll try this, I'll try this. With this, when I'm stuck, I'm lost. <laughs> and I find, oh, yeah, I, I, oh, here's a great colour. And then I run out of that colour and I don't know how to make it again. So it's sort of like a voyage into the unknown for me. I think everyone should be doing it. I think it's a release for lots of people. People find all sorts of different reasons for painting. Same as you've cut in underneath here, that lovely negative shape, it's the same with the toes. Just try and do the toes in the same Yeah, way. and the same with cutting out the beak, you've got a lovely pointy beak through there. Yeah. So don't be freaked out about the feet, it's right. just another shape. Okay. It's good. I think that her discipline about colour 
and getting the shape right is really important. And I think once, when you have a little bit of confidence about putting paint on canvas, sometimes you can just rush that a little bit. And I really like Lucy's approach about getting that right. And if you don't have it right, go back and rethink it. You're saving the hardest bit till last. Well, cutting in between. Is yeah, that wet? It's, it's wet, so I'm going to have to use the the brown to make. make yeah, it cut it in. Five minutes. I'm under the pump here. I'm not sure if you can make magic happen in five minutes, but I'll give it a whirl, eh? Lucy? Hey. Yeah. You've got the shadow. You can, it was so hard <laughs> to get that in, and it was so simple in the end. It was. Thank you very much for, for giving me my first lesson, my first proper art lesson as an adult. I, I had a great time. Yeah, good. No, you've done great. Great so I'll, subject. I'll see you at your studio next week. <laughs> Need an assistant. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's been a very fun night. It's been a very energetic night. I've, I've created a masterpiece and I think I've learned something as well. And the good thing about doing a course like this, especially a beginner's course, is it actually gives you inspiration to, to go on and to try new and better magpies, no, to try new and better things in terms of art. Oh yeah, it's a good. I'm going to come back. You can still get along to workshops at NG Art Gallery in Sydney. Jump onto our website for more details. Fenella Kernabone, your five minutes of ritual humiliation ends now. I don't think it does. No, that was pretty traumatic, that entire evening. It was fun. It was good. But Fenella's I, got talent. Yeah. I think I'll pitch that to you. Slash Fenella might not have talent. Let's just change the title of that uh, highly rating uh, TV series. Would you do it? I wouldn't dare even try. So you're very, very brave. <laughs>